Hey, how's it going, YouTube? This is Uncle Shorty with Uncle Shorty's Bassin. Today, I decided to show you guys how I like to airbrush my crankbaits. Um, I'm going to be doing this D65 crankbait that I, I ordered from Dinger. Uh, you can... You can go online and order all kinds of different baits from them. Uh, Dinger Custom Baits, I believe they're called. Uh, anything that you guys can think of, they have there. Um, or uh, Backwater Outfitters is another one that I like to order through. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm going to paint today. It's a, uh, a deep diving crankbait. Um... One of my favorite ones that I like to be throwing lately. And we're gonna do it in a in a bluegill pattern. So first thing we're gonna want to do is tape off the the lip here. So I'm gonna get some blue painters tape like this. And I'm gonna tape off the tape off the lip. So you want to get everything except on the bait. You guys kind of see that. I won't show you every little piece, but just take your time, get it taped off. You kind of see that there. Fold these over just like that, all the way around. So I will stop the video, go do that to the rest of it, and uh, get back to you guys. Alright, so this is kind of what it's going to look like after you're all done getting it taped off. It's going to be fully all the way around. Just like that. And then, next thing you're going to want to do is grab some white. I like to throw some white in there. Uh, some opaque. This is Wicked Opaque White. It's a nice, nice starting base to start off with. So let me uh, get this mixed up. And then we'll get this thing sprayed. Alright. I like to hold my bait, or at least hold the, the easy helper things. Makes it a little bit easier. I can I can turn my bait, flip it upside down, whatever I want to do. So I like to hold it so it's nice and easy. Make sure you're covering everything front to back. If it takes two coats, it takes two coats. You just want to make sure you get it from different angles because sometimes these things have little little scales already on them. So you want to make sure you hit it from the back like this also. Alright. Looks good. Once you get that on, you can heat set it. So I'll show you guys on this first one, the heat setting process, and then the rest of it, I won't show you. I'll just cut it off, but uh, this is what you do. So I just, I just have my, my blow dryer sitting right here. covered all right. 
Next, I'm going to throw a little pearl lime green. We're just going to throw this on the top, a little bit on the top, a little bit in the front. And me, when I do my baits, they're all different. I don't have the same pattern on every bait. I just kind of look at the bait, see what I think it needs, and go from there. See how I did just kind of in the front a little bit here along the top and a little bit more there a little bit more in the front all right hit that with the heat set okay so now that we got that heat set we're going to throw some wicked golden yellow onto the, the top back and then down the sides here. I know it's a little tough to see right now uh, with the lighting and everything. This is uh, actually the first time I'm filming me painting so I'm still trying to get this lighting stuff under control. But uh, yeah, so we're going to just lightly spray a little bit of this going back this way. A little bit on the top here. Lightly on the sides. Faded into that green. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Like I said, nothing has to be perfect. Telling you those fish out there, they are not dead on perfect. And at the end, it'll all come together. Alright, kind of give it all a turn, see if we miss anything. I like to hit this very back part right here. Don't forget about that, that's always white. So you gotta hit that. Alright. That's a good little start, starting point there. Let's see if I can get that in a little bit. You guys can check it out. Both sides. Gotta get that fading in there to the green. Pretty soon, it's all gonna come together. Alright, so I'm gonna heat set that. And we'll move on to the next color. Alright, for this next one, this next color, we're actually going to mix three colors. Mix a little pearl satin gold. Some opaque white. And the wicked golden yellow again. We want that same orange, just a little bit lighter. Alright, so we're going to go with some yellow. A little bit of gold. 
I like the sparkle on that gold. And some white. Add a little bit of, a couple drops of reducer. Give it all just a little mix. Yeah. See, look at that comedy right there. That's what we want. Just a little kind of yellow, orange. We're going to spray this on the belly. This in the sprayer. Let me spray this right, right on the belly. bit lighter than that orange we spray on the back he said that come back to you all right all right now we're gonna come with uh, some pearl green we're just gonna do a couple drops of this because we're only gonna be adding a little bit of a few different colors so I'm gonna add this this is gonna kind of Brighten this bait up a little bit. Boom, boom. Right down the sides here. Like that. Next, we're going to grab Detail Burnt Orange. We're going to throw this on the back a little bit and then we're going to wrap this thing in some lace. I really like this, this burnt orange. Just a little bit. Boom, boom. Just kind of Pull, pulling these colors together is kind of what we're doing here. Kind of just right in the back. And just kind of blend them all together. shoot from a distance a little bit to kind of help blend them I think something might be a little too bright or just to kind of fade this together boom right in there okay I'm gonna heat set that and then we're gonna get this bait wrapped up with some lace all right so now we got that all preset we're gonna wrap this bait up into some lace. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but you can get a roll of this stuff at Hobby Lobby or probably online somewhere. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby for $5.99 or something like that, $6.99. Uh, but there's enough on there to last you years probably, um, or at least for me, for what I do. So we're gonna get this. We're going to wrap this around our bait and uh, get the paint. So we want to get this on there nice and tight. I'll kind of do it a little bit and then uh, get back to you because it's a little tricky. But, you know, if your piece is too long, you can always trim it. The main thing is, is keeping this 
tight against your bait. If it's you know if it's not tight, just keep rearranging it until it is tight, and it'll turn out a lot better. You, know, you gotta kind of pull it, move it, twist it. Gets to be a little a pain, but that's why we do it. So, yep, let me get this wrapped up, and I'll get back to you. All right, so now you can see I got it all wrapped up, and we're going to start spraying. Main thing, like I said, is to keep that tight. Uh, what I'm going to throw on here first is some, some detailed violet. Uh, a lot of the bluegill out here in the Pacific Northwest have purple in their in their bellies or on their backs or on their sides. So we're not going to do a lot, just a little of this detail violet. Just going to throw some on the on the sides. Just, just so it looks, it gets a little, little purple shine through. Get a little purple, a little purple hint through there. Just some, just some flickers of purple. Alright, that's it. I got something clogging my brush right now. Alright, let me get the uh, detailed moss green. We're going to throw this over the back. Darken up that back a bit. What I like about this, uh, this lace here is... Once you take it off, it leaves a pretty cool design underneath. Uh, so everything that you throw on top of it, it might look like there's going to be a lot. But a lot of it comes off with it. Or there's not as much as you might think. So, But be careful. You know, you can always add more. You can't take off. So just remember that as you're spraying we're going to lay this down the top. And down the shoulders here. Don't mind my compressor there. It gets a little loud. I see these colors are starting to come together and then once we take this off we're gonna get we're gonna put some lines in it some bluegill lines I don't know what I'm gonna use yet maybe a comb maybe some you know some stencils got multiple different stencils up there but we'll see which one we want to go with all right let me heat set this um, see if we want to spray anything else like I said when I paint I like to look think about it I don't just paint the same pattern over and over each one's gonna be different you know this one will look different than the last one and it looks different than the one I did before you know which is which is okay that's all right to not always I mean Unless you're trying to sell them and make a business out of it, but I just do this for fun. I give them to buddies or give them to my pops. But most of them I just keep for myself. So it's a good hobby to do. Something to do up here in the winter time. Well, we can't really be out there fishing. Be in here doing something. 
Alright, let's see if I should throw something something else over it. Um I kinda wanna throw a little something. Get the show a little. I think that's good for now. Alright, let's heat set this. Before you take this off, you want to really make sure that that's dry. If not, it'll smear. So really make sure you get that dry. Before you take these clips off. Yeah, it turned out pretty cool on the top there, but we're not quite done. Do you see how it, it looked a lot darker once this was on? When this was on there, it looked a lot darker. But once you take it off, a lot of that goes away and it kind of blends together. Okay, so yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to throw some lines down the side here. Uh, I'll probably just use... Let's see. Not that one. Where is Bear with me. Let's see, will this work? No, I don't want that many lines. Something like that. Yeah, I'll we'll just do something like that. I'll we'll just do something like that. That'll work. Alright, let's get the uh, sepia. Sepia, sepia. There we go. Detail sepia. This thing works magic. drops and one for good luck bada bing bada boom alright line this up make sure you got a good hold try to get this a little bit closer I try to you know find a good starting point that way I know where I'm starting on the other side you know maybe right at the back of this gill or something right here Okay. And we're going to uh, make this line the front a little bit more. This is where it gets a little tricky. Just line your lines back up. Alright. That'll work. Just a few lines there. Flip it over. Same thing to this side. And we're at the same starting point. Right there at that gill plate.
work. And then once I get those lines in, I like to just fade them into the top. This sepia. Kind of faded in. Okay. All right, let me heat set that and get back to you. Okay. Now you got that heat set. I'm going to come in with some Caribbean blue. We're going to add blue to like right in here on both sides. I like to do that just to kind of give it some some popping colors. Uh, so we're going to do that on both sides here. Some Caribbean blue. You know, in these colors that I use, you don't have to use. You can use any colors that you choose. <clears throat> like I said, this is just stuff that I've kind of just learned to like and go with and adjust and kind of try to make match my my bait fish out here. So. So we're going to just add some blue, nice and slow. Oh, let me turn this down a bit. This is turned up way too high. Alright. Let's try this again. Alright. Add some blue right in here. With these, I like to do a coat, let it dry. Do a coat, let it dry. I want that blue to really pop. So I'm going to do that coat, let it dry, or heat set it. Do another coat, heat set it. Because you're painting over other darker colors, so it's going to be a little tough. Um, but you do a couple coats, and it'll, it'll be no problem. So heat set that. I like to really exaggerate this blue mark. Now heat set this side. Having that blow dryer hanging right there is such a lifesaver and time saver. Boom, boom, boom. Put that blue there. Flip it over, do a little more blue there. Boom, boom. Like I said, I really want that blue to pop. So I've noticed that these bluegill out here, like I said, I live out here in Washington. And the bluegill out here, they got purple you know they're dark these bluegill out here are dark so I've noticed that they got a lot of like a dark purple hint to them and and a, like a bright not even like a bright blue but a good blue cheek to them so that's kind of why I, I really make this blue pop here all right, let me get that to set, heat set all that, and give it a good look over and see if I need to do anything else to it. I do want to add some stuff to the bottom, so we'll get to that. Um, 
I might darken up these lines on the side here, yeah. I might do that. So let me heat set that, I'll get back to you. Alright, so I'm gonna try some try something I've never tried before. And that is mixing a little bit of this detail violet with the sepia. And just kind of see that's what I like about this you can just kind of try different things so if I can get this to turn out the way I, I'm thinking it might I might like the way this looks on the sides here with my uh, on my stripes and just kind of redo this color a little bit over my stripes. Yeah, I can get that purple, a little, little bit of purple that I'm talking about. So yeah, sorry about that. My battery died on the camera. So, like I was saying, I'm adding a little bit of that violet. To the sepia and uh, I'm gonna give this a shot and see how this turns out it'll darken that sepia up just a little bit with a little bit of purple to it that I'm looking for all right now that's all mixed in let's get it into the sprayer the way that's looking so we're going to try to go right over our lines again and get into that light a little bit maybe you guys can see it a little bit better right over those lines It's all gonna fade away here in a little bit. Same thing to this side. Kind of spray a little bit just to kind of blend all that together. Like I said, these these big fish out here, these bluegill out here, are pretty dark. All right, pretty much almost there. I'm gonna throw a little bit of dark green or a little bit of moss. Onto that, and then we are done. And we just gotta dip it into some KBS clear coat, let it drip and dry, and then come back tomorrow to the final product. Let's get some of that detailed moss green right here. Just a little bit on the top. Just uh, very front of the nose. Don't forget the nose. Now always 
get these eyes. Get these eyes real dark. I like to get those eyes real dark like that. It just makes the eyes, once you stick the eyes on them, it just makes those eyes really pop. Boom, boom. I like it. I'm liking it. Alright. Let me heat set this and I'll get back. Alright, got that heat set. And before we put in our last, like, our last color or just kind of like an overspray I'm gonna add this uh, it's 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 by wiki I believe it's candy y2o uh, auto air colors it's blood red the number is uh, 4650 this stuff's kind of tricky to work with it's real runny makes it kind of a little bit tricky but it's got to spray slow. Uh, I like to put this stuff just just under the belly. That's it, kind of by the neck. It, it turns out just like blood. And I just like to give it a little bit of a red. Just a little bit red. Just something for them to see some red. Because I always think bass see red, they think blood. You know, they think that big fish is injured. So I just give it a little bit of red underneath. Give them something to look at as that fish is swimming by. Darken it up. Boom. A little bit on the side if you want. Give it a little bit on this side. Plus that gives it that gives the fish somewhere to to aim. Boom! Right at that hook. You got that hook dangling right here. Boom! Sometimes I'll do that in the back here too. I just put a little bit of red there, like that. That way they see that. Boom! There's a hook there. Go after that hook. Either way, that fish is getting hooked. All right, he set that, and then last last overall spray and then we're done all right got that done heat set last thing i like to do before i'm done is put this wicked gold spray over the entire bait um, and what that does to me why i like to do it is it doesn't put the color gold on it but this this paint has such a sparkle or a shine to it that it's just it just gives this bait a nice shine uh an overall appearance i guess you can say so so i'll spray it and you can just kind of see that right there it just makes that bait just makes that bait sparkle it doesn't change the way the bait looks you just add some add some sparkle to the bait and I think uh, I think that helps a lot just a little bit nothing crazy and that's it right there you guys can get a good look at it I know the lighting here is not that great but you can kind of see underneath a little bit of red a little bit of white because they always got a little bit of white showing the stripes the colors you got different colors at different angles you got that blue you know that blue I might have you know maybe went a little bit brighter you know maybe I can still do that right now maybe I'll add a little blue just to brighten that blue up because I do like to have that that blue bright so let me add a little bit of blue there and then I'm done all right so the next thing we're gonna be doing is picking out eyes um, there's multiple different colors and sizes and shapes and all that uh, for these this uh, D65 
they have these tri oval shaped ones um, which I like I like these these shapes here uh, I think I'm gonna go with this gold this gold color here um, yeah these seem these seem to be good my last couple so I'm gonna pop these out stick these right on the bait get this a little bit closer now some people do put super glue a dab of super glue underneath um, sometimes I do sometimes I don't um, I've never had any issues with the eyes popping out or anything so are coming off after I after I dip them or because these ones right here I'm gonna be dipping in KBS clear coat um, but I had I also use a two-part epoxy from Devcon uh, both of them work great um, this KBS is just a little bit easier it does take longer to dry a little bit more of a pain in the butt but um, it turned out nicer so I'll put my drip pan out there uh, let me get my KBS set up and I'll show you guys that process um, I'll show you how we take off the tape I'll just do that now so yeah we gotta take this tape off Get all the tape off. Cause you, you want to make sure you do that because when you dip this, you're going to be dipping everything. You're going to dip the bill too. And when you dip that bill, it makes, it makes that bill so much clearer. It's amazing. I mean, you think that this bill is already clear. But it makes it, I mean, almost as if it's not there. Uh, so, yep. So, we're going to get all this tape off. We're going to dip it in the KBS clear coat. And I'm going to show you guys that process. So, there you go. There's that right there. Hopefully you guys can kind of see the colors. Hopefully it's not too dark. You know, I see a few things I might have, you know, I might change or maybe we'll do different next time. But like I said, every time you do them, you learn and you, uh, and you go from there. That's why I love doing this. Every time there, I have no baits that look exactly the same. But I've caught I've caught fish on multiple baits, and that's what's important. And there's no other feeling like it. Catching a fish on something that you painted, it's, it's an awesome feeling. All right, so let me get uh. Let me get the KBS set up, and then I'll be back and show you guys that last step. Alright, so we got the KBS all set up. What we're going to do is you're going to want to get a little hanger. Something with a hook on both sides, a little piece of wire you can bend. That way you can. You can hang your bait just like this. Grab something you can pinch it, pinch it closed with, because you don't want this to come off. Now what we're going to do, is we're going to take this jar of KBS and our lure, we're going to dip it in, all the way in, going to go all the way down. I like to let it sit there for a sec. And we're gonna come all the way out. Nice 
nice and slow. Look at that shine. Let me get that a little bit closer for you guys. But you really see what that's like. Oh, I just touched the edge. No good. Alright, we'll dip it again. Here we go. Coming up. Oh, yeah. Let that just drip off the bottom. And then we're going to get that hung. You can already see how that that bill is already a lot shinier. And then it really makes the, all the colors pop. All the colors really start to shine. They really come through. So yep, so there you go. There's a there's my take on a on a bluegill type bait. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, but there will be more of these to come. Uh, any questions, any suggestions, uh, feel free to comment. Um, and, you know, please like and subscribe. And we'll be talking to you guys soon. This is Uncle Shorty. And thanks again.